Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you what to do if your JPEG file is not opening on Windows 11 and how to fix it in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to check the file names for the JPEG images. Now first of all what you have to do is open up an instance of File Explorer. Once you open this up, make sure to click on the View tab, then hover over Show and select the file name extensions. Now once it's selected you'll see a check mark next to this option. Now just close this window and head over to your image. And if there's any format that's weird in here or doesn't correspond to the JPEG format, make sure to press on F2 to rename it, try to type in JPEG and you're good to go. Now your image should work properly. Next in line, another useful solution is to reset or repair the Photos app. To do this, press the Windows button, then head over to Settings, so click on it. Now click on Apps on the left pane, and then on the right side, click on the Installed Apps category. Now simply scroll way down until you find Microsoft Photos, then simply click on the three dots next to the application. Now select Advanced Options, and afterwards scroll way down until you find the Reset section. And you can start by clicking on the Repair button. Now, in this case, if the app isn't working correctly, Windows will try to repair it and the app's data won't be affected at all. But if this app doesn't work properly, just reset it. So click on the reset button, but in this case, the app's data will be deleted and everything will return to the default state. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to re-register all MS Store apps. Now to do this, right click the Windows button, then select Terminal as an administrator and in here make sure to copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below. Now simply restart your device and then try to see if the app works properly. And lastly, another useful solution is to run a DISM and SFC scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. And now in the command prompt window, make sure to copy paste the following commands but press enter after each command. So copy the commands from the description below, one by one, press on enter and then wait until the scans are finished. Then you can just check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.